Hi, this is Rockin' Robin, and today I am at the International Swimming Hall of Fame in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm going to give you the tour, show you what's going on at this place with a lot of information, so you come with us. National Swimming Hall of Fame is located on one Hall of Fame drive in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. You can park in different places, but probably beside it across the street is the best. Now, the first thing you're going to see when you go in is that they have a gift shop, a lot of different swimming wear, and some fun things to buy. You might see some memorabilia and some items from famous swimmers like Michael Phelps. But some of it is just going to be stuff that you can wear. Once you pay, and admission prices vary depending on when you go. But when you go, you can go upstairs. They range from $4 right now to $10 for adults. Now you go up the stairs and you're going to see on the walls a lot of different stuff about swimming. If you're a swimming expert, you will know some of these people. I don't happen to know all of them. I watch the Olympics and that's about it. The names, some of them sounded familiar, but I didn't really know too much about them. But it's very nice that they have all this information. And you're still not even up there. You're just walking up up the stairs but it's basically a small place so they have to use every inch of it to show you a lot of the items and look at all the wonderful trophies fantastic some are very old and you might know john johnny weismuller well we'll see more on him later but he's one of the ones that they showed here it is a history of swimming through the lens they're going to show a lot of different pictures and you can see some fantastic sights of a lot of the swimmers that you know like michael phelps there also will be some of the awards and they'll have a lot of different names of the people who were swimming some of the magazine covers some articles, some advertisements, a lot of stuff about swimwear as well as swimming. It's a nice little museum and the photographs are amazing. There's a glare so it's hard to for me to get a photograph of the photographs. Now you remember Mark Spitz? Of course. And there is uh, quite a few sculptures and designs that are quite interesting and they all have a lot of information but i think one of the highlights is definitely the photographs of a lot of the different athletes but i enjoyed looking at the awards and some of the things that they did and a lot of picture history it's very enjoyable it takes maybe an hour to go through if you're really, really into swimming and you want to stop at look at everyone, it could take you a whole afternoon. But there is a lot of interesting stuff to look at. This section is all dedicated right here to Johnny. Wise Muller. You might remember him as Tarzan. Nice sculpture. A lot of uh, swim meets and different things that he won. A lot of different pictures. Very nice. If you're looking for someone in particular, you can go and it's arranged by alphabet and you can find them. This is some swimwear through the ages. How swimwear has changed. <laughs> celebrities have been swimmers or have been involved in a lot of the swimming activities and the making of the Hall of Fame and you can see a lot of pictures and you never know who you'll find.
there is one area dedicated to the TV show Sea Hunt with Lloyd Bridges and that's the original suit that he wore in the TV series. Some artwork of Guy Harvey, famous artist who does a lot of sea work. This surfboard features some from him. I did not realize that Ronald Reagan, President Reagan, was a swimmer. There is a whole section about him. On this day, I could not go outside and see the pool area. So that's why I paid only half price on this day. But you can see it's being redone. And this is what it looks like as it's being redone. But it's going to be beautiful. And I am going to show you a diagram of what they're hoping that it's going to look like when it's finished. But you can see that it's very big. And it's going to have a lot of people watching it. Look at all those seats. It really needs a lot of work, but I think it's going to be really beautiful. I hope they hold a lot of events there. Maybe even some international events. And here is what it's going to look like when it is done. I'm hoping to return when it is done and show you this part of it as well. I'm really excited to see it in the future. Uh, I can picture this, but then when I look, this is what I see. So eventually we'll have another video on that. So here we go. They also have a lot of stuff about the White House and various presidents. Not just Ronald Reagan, but a lot of other presidents and swimming were important to this museum. So take a look at all of these people. Now this is an award, a Golden Goggles Award for Michael Phelps. And there's some more Michael Phelps. You can't help, he was just so amazing. You have to focus on him. And they have a lot of uh, swimwear that was done by uh, other people. It's international, this person was from Canada. There's all the different countries and some of their greatest swimmers. It's not just based on the things that happened in the US or in college or in the Olympics. It's a whole bunch of different areas. Now look at this, you remember her? Yeah, lots of different experiences. This is what it looks like when you're standing in all the photographs from afar. There is just so much to look at and it is uh, really fantastic. Here is one of the displays we found on Esther Williams. Well, this is Rockin' Robin. I hope you enjoyed our video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and to give us a thumbs up. If you hit the bell also, you'll be notified when we have other videos. Well, thank you so much for watching Rockin' Robin from the International Swimming Hall of Fame in Fort Lauderdale, Florida.